Hello everyone, I'm Coco Sherelle and welcome to my channel Bling and Air. Today I have a pair of Converse's that I will be decorating for you. My customer asked for the color red and she wants them embellished with half pearls in the color red and white with rhinestone crystals. She also wants them personalized with her sorority name and number. I am so excited to get this done because lately I've been doing a lot of the royal blue pearl ones which is like my number one selling at this point next to my bride sneakers. So if you would like to see how I get these done for her, please keep watching. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Hopefully you like what you see. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe button to be part of the Blink family. For my returning viewers and Blink family, it's always a pleasure to have y'all tuned in. Now y'all don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also because you already know it's going to be another beauty. To move things along, I already put her line number and name on the sneaker using my Cameo Silhouette machine. I use silver glitter vinyl and white glitter vinyl. Now I'm going to go in with the white fabric paint and I'm going to be putting it on the areas where I'm going to be putting the diamond rhinestone crystals. Please go to my description section if you're interested in any of the materials that was used here today. I will be listing them there along with some websites if I remember where I got them from. Sorry guys, I was watching House of Dragons as I was working on these sneakers and I completely forgot to record that part with me doing the rhinestones, but don't worry, I have much more to do. I'm going to show you how I put the rhinestones on the line named the plug and on other areas of the sneaker, so you keep watching. So here we go. I'm using my E6000 glow. Please make sure you are in a well ventilated area, have a mask on or you have a fan on when using this toxic glow. I'm applying my rhinestone chain trim, which I love. It adds so much glamor to the sneaker. I'm using rhinestone sizes two, three, four and five millimeter. I love putting it in a scattered type of pattern because it just gives so much dimension to the sneaker. Guys, I wanted to share something with you. I just started a second YouTube channel, literally just started a second one, and it's called Serene Gratitude, and it's all about improving your mindset and inner peace with positive thinking and reflections. My own gratitude journey has helped me build a more thankful heart, and I wanted to share that with others. So I would really love if you can go over there and follow me and subscribe and share it with your friends and your family. The description section will have the link, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much in advance. As usual, my video will be sped up and I will pop in here and there when I feel I need to explain something. So please enjoy me doing what I do best as I design these red converses.
Hey guys, just checking in. I hope you all are enjoying the process as I move along with this design. So now it's time for me to add the rhinestone crystals to the name, the plug. I love using the Cricut brand vinyl glitter because this glitter does not like flake off or fall off and it provides a very good coarse base for the rhinestone crystals. Guys, do you notice that the G in the word plug is not on the canvas of the converses, but on the rubber? I did that purposely because I wanted that to extend down. And the only way to get it to stick, I use Loctite glue. There could be other glues, but I use Loctite glue. You cannot heat press vinyl to rubber. So you have to glue that down separately if you want that type of look. Now it's time for me to apply the half of pearls. And I'm going to be using size 2, 3, four, five, six, eight, 10, and 12 millimeter. I love adding the half of pearls in the scattered pattern with both of the colors. It just brings so much dimension. So I'm only adding small red half of pearls around the name so that it can stand out against the white. Now in my previous video, I showed in detail how I did this double layer effect with the name. So that's why you see the silver glitter on top of the white glitter. I, I like that because it just brings so much um, character to the name. So in my previous video, I made a photo book for a baby boy and I did the same thing. The only difference here is I was able to heat press the plug the name the plug directly onto the sneaker whereas in the photo book it's a book so I could not heat press that and I had to peel the letters off <laughs> yeah I saw that so I will leave that video in the description section below for you guys to check that out and see how I did the double layer effect As you see, I place my hand in the inside of the converses just to give some support as I place each pearl down. The E6000 glue is wet and sometimes the half of pearls will slide. So I will use my finger to press down on the pearl, making sure it seeps deep inside the glue. I don't want it to stay shallow on the surface of the glue. So I'm going in with my final embellishments, adding my smallest half pearls, size two millimeter, to the white glitter vinyl around the silver. This is just gonna bring some more bling and glamor to the design. I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product because I'm just about done. I love these so much. They came out exactly how I imagined. They're so beautiful. I do a lot of converses and a lot of my converses come from orders. And lately, a lot of my customers have been ordering the pearl converses, but in blue. So when she came along and she wanted red, I was so happy to do a different color. And these came out gorgeous. And the fact that they're personalized with her sorority name and number. So I, I'm just so happy I was able to do them. They came out so pretty. They're sparkling. They stand out. And even though this is for her sorority, this is a, a this looks like it could be for a holiday event. You know, because you do have the holidays coming up soon. So the red is very festive. And even going into the next year for Valentine's Day, 
I have done some other color converses and have pearls such as white, off-white, black, pink, purple, gray, and royal blue, which is my number one selling on my website. But I think these red ones are going to be a big hit. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video and watching me create these beautiful converses for my customer. Please don't forget to like, share, and if you came this far, go ahead and subscribe and be part of the Bling family. And until next time, stay blessed and well, everyone. Bye.